In this video, we will learn how to implement LDAP mapping using FDM. With LDAP mapping, we can add much more flexibility to our VPN remote access deployments and make them very customized. Also, in this movie, we will play with JSON and API Explorer of FDM, and I am sure you will enjoy it. In our scenario, I deployed Cisco FTD using FDM for management, and I have two computers. One is acting as VPN AnyConnect client, and the other one is target server, which is located in our inside network. We will configure LDAP and using the mapping feature and we'll learn a lot. So let's begin. Now we will connect to our FDM. The first step is to configure the LDAP session between FTD and LDAP server, which is active directory in our scenario. For this reason, we need to select object menu and then choose the identity sources. Then we add a new realm. As you can see, we don't have a specific realm for LDAP, in FDM we need to select the AD realm. Adding a realm is pretty straightforward. We need just put a name on it. Then we can use any user with a valid password to connect to the Active Directory. Then we will provide the base DN and also the primary domain name. To make a secure LDAP connection, we need to import a trusted CA certificate from our end into FTD. For this certificate import, we need to go to the object menu and select the certificate menu. Now we will click on the plus button and choose add a trusted CA certificate. With this action, FTD can trust certificates issued by our CA server. Here, we simply put a name and paste or upload PEM file from our CA server. It must be base 64. This is the certificate I already added to FTD. We can check this. As you can see, the key type is RSA and key size is 2048. Now let's go back to the Identity Sources menu. Now we go and recheck the secure LDAP part. The trusted certificate is added. Make sure you select the correct encryption protocol. In our case, it's a LAPS. Also, be sure you provide the proper interface pointing to the LDAP server, and finally, it's recommended to put host name instead of IP. In that case, please don't forget to configure the correct DNS setting. Here we have a test button to make sure everything is configured correctly so far. You should see your test is passed. It's possible that when you hit the test button, you see an error message. The error message is like this. But don't worry, as long as you have a successful connection to the realm, you can ignore this message. This is a cosmetic bug. I will provide the bug link in the description. So don't panic. For better understanding, I will activate the debug for LDAP traffic, and we will hit the test button again to make sure everything is working fine. As you can see here, the status of the LDAP connection over port 636 is successful. Now it's time to play with LDAP attributes and use LDAP mapping. As you can see here, in FDM, we don't have any specific menu for the LDAP mapping, and even if you use the ASA command in flexconfig section, you will face an error. I will now try to create flexconfig object relate to LDAP attribute, and let's what will happen. We are in the flexconfig menu, and if we try to put an object related to the ASA style LDAP attribute command, we will face the block list CLI error, because it's not like FMC. We need to do it in another way. Enforce static IP address assignment for any Connect VPN users. In this scenario, I created two different user accounts, a regular user and the second one is an admin user. So I want to force a static IP address for the admin user. I will go to the dial-in menu, select the static IP, and provide my customized IP static address. This address will overwrite the VPN pool address we created for any Connect users. 
Now we will apply the config. Just please note that this LDAP attribute should be mapped. Now it's time to map LDAP attribute. Currently, this feature is only available using the device API. To reach this section on FDM main page, choose here and select API Explorer. On this page, we have plenty of options and functions. In our case, we need to look for the LDAP attribute. As you can see here, we have different methods like get, post, and delete. In front of each method, you can see the help and manual, and an example in JSON format. We also have a body that can provide our JSON as its value and try it on the system directly. For this, you need only click on Try It Now button. To deploy an LDAP attribute map, the first step is to choose the post method. The reason is we need to create a new record on our FTD. Now based on the example provided, I created this JSON file, I will post it. This is the JSON file, here we have type which is LDAP attribute map, and also we have LDAP attribute name and Cisco attribute name, also we provide a name for this mapping as well. Now we copy the JSON file and paste it into the parameter body, and we'll push it to FTD using the try it out button. And now we need to check for response code, if it's 200, it means we are good to go, otherwise, maybe there is a typo or missing comma on your JSON file. Just please do not forget to deploy your configuration. The final step is to associate the LDAP attribute map to our realm. We need to do some steps. Step number one, we need to use API Explorer, select Active Directory Realm, and click on the Get method. Step two is the scroll down and click on Try It Out. We need to copy the response body and paste it into the text file for editing. To edit, we need to remove the first two lines and also the last 10 lines. In the next step, we need to replace our configuration, as I have done on this file for you. Here, I added the LDAP attribute map in the JSON format. Now we go again to the Active Directory Realm API and click on Put, and we use our JSON file in the last step, and finally, we use Try It Out. Again please don't forget the deployment procedure. After the deployment, seems everything is okay, and we are ready for verification. Before we put our configuration to test, let me show you the changes by seeing the running configuration on our FTD. As you can see here, the LDAP mapping is added to our configuration, so now it's time for test. As you can remember, the static IP address we provided for admin account was 6.6.6.40. Now we try to establish any connect VPN with the FDM admin account to see if our configure is working or not. As you can see here, the configuration is working, and we are overwriting our VPN pool, and our static IP address is assigned. So that was our scenario, and we have done it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If there is any issue regarding your configuration, you can leave a comment. Thank you for viewing.